today, besides putting away my Christmas decorations, yes, let's not talk about it. It is what, the middle of January? I need to get on that. But anyways, I have been wanting to do a particular DIY. So let me show you. This is what I'm thinking about creating today and I want to put it right here. Let me back up because... So this area is blank and I thought that would actually look really cute there. Hopefully gonna get that put together. It doesn't look that hard and all I really need to get is some pocket screws and the measurements there which um, I wrote down actually of what I'll need. So just two six inch, six by 12 and then nine 12 by 12s if I want it to be this exact size that's in the picture. I'm actually on a budget for this DIY. I'm gonna cash in three of these $25 worth of lottery tickets that have been hanging on the fridge. I think it's probably supposed to rain the rest of the day, so I didn't do a whole lot with my hair. Actually, this is a topic for a whole nother video, but I've been contemplating, and most people are probably gonna say that I'm crazy, but I've been contemplating actually shaving my hair. Yep, shaving it. <laughs> uh, there's a lot more to that, so I won't get too far into it, but yeah. So I just threw it up and what I do anyway. So, I mean, why have hair if this is what I end up putting it into? I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. I think that we should get together and try them all to see. I've been looking around a while. You got something for me. Just been trying to get a few things done. I'm in the process of cleaning out our fridge. I'm putting each of the shelves through the dishwasher one by one because they don't all fit at the same time. So I got some of that done and I have got a load of laundry started, just cleaning some blankets and stuff. My Christmas decorations. <laughs> are still up. Um, I will eventually get around to them, hopefully this weekend, if not today, then tomorrow, but I wanted to get going on this project. While it looks really easy, it's probably going to end up taking me some time to do it. For some reason, I usually struggle with the like measuring and drilling aspect of it, so I'm going to attempt to do the whole thing start to finish by myself without the help of Seneca, but I may need him at least for just the hanging part. I don't know why you would think that would be like the easiest part of everything, but I never can seem to line it up properly. So I'm really good at the designing. I'm really good at the building, but yeah, when it comes to that. Oh, and I wanted to actually, don't mind the mess, I know. I'm just like going through everything in my refrigerator right now. Anyways, I found these. I've never seen them before. I was hoping that I would come across something where I could hang it flush, almost like it's just like stuck to the wall. And I was thinking about actually using those command sticky strips, but knowing that I'm gonna end up putting a bunch of books on it and stuff, the most that those things hold is like 20 pounds. So I didn't think that that was gonna be too sturdy. And I also grabbed these nails. I hope that they're the right size. We'll find out. But I'm going to get all of my stuff laid out and then get started. So here we go. Don't go too fast, but I go pretty far.
I'm actually headed out to go back to Lowe's, or I mean, back to Home Depot. There's a reason I asked the lady at the register what time they closed yesterday. I didn't know at the time. I thought I was just making small talk, but I need to go back. This plywood that I bought, even though in the blog said that that's what they used, it's not working out very well. So I'm headed back there now. I'm gonna see if they'll let me return the old wood, which cost me like a little under $10. Get the right size screws this time and return them. I didn't even open them, so they should let me return it in exchange. And then hopefully get this DIY started. <laughs> I knew that it wasn't gonna be as easy as it said that it was. Always happens, always. I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. I think that we should get together and try them on to see. Let's try this again. Oh, I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? What do you need? I need a screwdriver and I need an attachment for a screwdriver that I can charge that is meant for the Phillips. And he said, what do you need? And so I told him, it was the most basic measurement I've ever asked for. And he said to me, oh no, we, well, you know, we charge a dollar per those, for each cut, a dollar a piece. Um, if you're trying to cut it this way, we never cut them this way. And I said, I didn't ask for you to cut it that way. I'm just cutting the long 10 foot board, like in pieces. It's still gonna be the same length across type of thing. And, then, as I was saying that, so what are you doing? Um, I'm making a corner shelf. Do you want to help me? It's not hard. Oh boy, I would do this in the basement. I don't want. You're gonna need a lot of space. Okay. Trust me, you're gonna have a lot of space. Alright, I'm fine. I'm fine, just let me do it. <laughs> Remember when I said that I was gonna try to do this on my own? I don't know why I say that, because I never do it. Bottom one. Very light there, like, I'm 
Right. Right, like a tiny little thing. Calendar. Mmm. <laughs> right, something little. The dry succulents with no dirt in them. Put the books on. Yeah. Holy crap. Tell them what really happens when you try to make it. Hmm.